Can Bean Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Joined now with Paul Can Bean, head coach of the men's lacrosse team. Coach, you guys played two games this week. Real strong defensive effort, uh, especially with Dom DeFazio. Yeah, you know, Dom's been playing great all year, playing a real high level. And I think he gets the other defensemen to play at a high level, holds them really accountable. He's done a great job of that all year, and we're really happy the way he's progressed. You know, he's done an outstanding job, and I think that we're going to continue to play well defensively. And, uh, you know, I think playing all those really tough games earlier has helped these guys realize how they play every quarter. And um, we're doing great. Ross has continued to play great in the goal and doing a good job. Um, I think Drew Kermode's playing very steady, and uh, obviously Dylan Harris is just doing such a great job at pole for us, playing so well. And, uh, you know, when you get our midi Ds, you got big midi Ds that can handle people like Parrish and uh, Jake Young, Jake Brown, you know, we got some, we can guard just about anybody. So, but we got to maintain a high level and not, not uh, slack off here a little bit. I think those guys, you know, they hold themselves pretty accountable. Offensively now, you guys get a lot of uh, different players to get action. How important is that going forward as the conference? Well, you know, it's works? always good to get a lot of people into the games. You know, that's always great, but they have to maintain a certain level of play that we expect them to play at. It's not, it's not their right to play. You know, it's their privilege, and then when they go in these games, they got to do, uh, they got to do a little better job. I thought against Arcadia, some guys did a real good job. Colin Mason scored a couple goals and did a good job, but some other guys got to play better when they put it in those situations. But, uh, you know, I think our offense has got to maintain the level that we played at. You know, we're averaging about 14 goals a game, and we got to continue to do that and put pressure on teams like we've done these past two times, and we play um, Lycoming, Hood, and Widener this week, we know we can't bail them out by not being ready to play. We've got to maintain a high level of play. And these guys are motivated and they want to continue to do that. So hopefully we'll maintain that level of play. Hey, one guy that had a high level of play on Saturday was Wade Corvin. He overcome a little bit of a slow start. Is he starting to find his groove now? Well, we really need him. You know, Wade's always on the end of the so-called gravy train a little bit. You know, he gets a lot of those in the, uh, everybody else's hard work, and he did a great job against Arcadia, scoring eight goals, and he did played very well against Lebanon Valley as well. I think he had three in that game. And but you know, he's got to maintain his uh, finishing ability and do that. In a couple early games this year, you know, he had some opportunities that he didn't finish. But I think he's really starting to come into his play. It's not how you start the season; it's how you end the season. Mm -hmm. And I think he's really starting to come in his own. Now this week, you guys have three games, including some back-to-back -back Tuesday and Wednesday night games. How important has the growth and the depth going to be as you guys progress in the schedule? Well, you know, when you play three games in a week, it's a <laughs> it puts you to it puts a little bit to a test, but we've done that before. You know, when you played early in the season, when you played Lynchburg, York, and uh, Tufts, all in that little stretch. So we're aware of what it takes to do that, but you know, it's always good when you get other people in the game. You don't have to rely on our first midfield as much. Get our second midfield a lot more reps. Uh, get some face-off guys in there that can help us out and rotate some poles. So hopefully we'll do what we're supposed to do this week, but you know, like Coming Hood and Widener are all good teams that if you don't you're not ready to play, can hurt you, you know, especially Widener, who's playing. They're a very tough team. have always played us traditionally very tough. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck and safe travels on Saturday when you guys head out that way. Yeah, hopefully when you head out, we won't have any uh, tire breakdowns or anything like that or be late. So <laughs> well, hopefully we'll get there. But, you know, that's part of, you know, when you coach a long time, you're going to have some issues on the road once in a while. And, you know, they did a great job getting it done and uh, we got on the way. Well, Coach, good luck. Thank awesome. you. He's Paul Canabine. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Paul Canabine Show.